New suburbs like this are mass produced, houses plonked on the site and rolled out at a rate of knots. And in that conveyor belt process, opportunities are missed. Claire's house sits in this environment and bucks the trend without breaking the bank. Well, this is a very modest house. It's not a big statement. I won't let that offend me. There's a lot going on inside um, and I'd love to show you the rest of the story. Lovely. So the client for this job was a Gen Y first homeowner and I'm a Gen Y architect. So that's a pretty unusual pairing in our industry. She wanted something that could offer light, warmth, connection to the outdoors, good social spaces. So then the question became, how can we do a custom designed architectural house on a first home buyer's budget? And how do you make a cost effective house that still looks beautiful? Designing something that's space efficient and clever. We have an in-house science team in our office and we work very collaboratively with them through the whole design process. Goodness, that looks complicated. What is it? <laughs> this is what we refer to as a blower door. What we use it to do is to test the air leakage of a building envelope. So how much air is in the house and how many leaks there are? Yeah, because your typical Canberra home turns over its entire volume of air about once every hour or sometimes more. We aim for a much tighter envelope. And that's going to make uh, the most effect in winter Absolutely. when you don't have to replace all that warm air yeah. that's leaked out. Another tool that we use to check the building envelope once the house is constructed is this, and it's a thermal camera. We use it to check that the insulation has been very thoroughly installed. Here, of course, there isn't much to see because the house is thoroughly and evenly insulated. But if we look at Johnny the dog, for example, we can see that he's very warm compared to the, the concrete around him. Canberra's the perfect example of how we can design for climate. We have beautiful sunny winters where that sun is tracking low in the sky to the north and then in summer when it's hot the sun tracks directly above us so it's easy to shade. So the biggest thing you can do in siting a house is pointing it in the right direction. Absolutely and it doesn't cost you any more to do. It's such a simple thing to get right and it can make such a difference to your heating and cooling bills, your quality of life, the psychological effects on your family and how you operate and just day-to-day -day enjoyment of your house. And you can't help but notice the mural. Tell me about that. We always knew that there would be a large blank wall here that had a very direct relationship with the living areas. So she engaged local graffiti artist John Voir and he developed developed this colourful, dynamic piece that really brings the house to life. What is it that makes this house special and caught the eye of our judging panel? Superficially, it's a typical family home on a block in a new Canberra suburb and using typical building materials. But what's different here is the use of clever thinking from the design team that will produce results for the client well into the future.